All right, so while Rising Storm 2 Vietnam has more or less been abandoned, uh, we are very thankful that modders have taken it upon themselves to add more content for all of us to enjoy. And that is why we're going to be talking about the GOM or Gameplay Overhaul Mutator mod for Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. And admittingly, I was going to make a GOM 3 video, but I, I don't know what happened to that. No fucking idea. But anyways, before I go into today's video, uh, please like the video. This is really all I have in life. Without this channel, I have nothing. So please leave a like and comment. Please, I beg you. Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, so some of you might not know what GOM is so basically adds new shit to rising storm to Vietnam like new factions weapons vehicles even even enhances the gameplay like we're gonna get new gore effects new weapon effects and maps that are specifically made to support this gameplay mod basically because I remember I said in the past people were like oh we need tanks why aren't there tanks in this game and my complaint or criticism was that the maps that we have in vanilla rising storm to Vietnam cannot support vehicles you just can't fit like a tank in Huey City. It's it's impossible, basically. You're going to be crashing into everything, and it's going to be so annoying to use. That's why we're going to have specifically new maps that are made to support this type of gameplay. But we're going to be exploring some of the new things that have been added to this game, and it's actually fantastic, really. Like, it's, it's like getting a new update for Rising Storm 2. Like, you're wondering, oh, what did they add? New faction, new weapons, new maps. What have they added? And unfortunately, you know, we can't get that anymore from the developers, so really, this is the next best thing that we can hope for and I'm very thankful for it. But you know, some of the things that have been added, I'm going to start off with my favorite things, and that is the new weapons or 30 plus new weapons that are being added into the game and I'm gonna have to start off right out of the gate starting strong that it has to be the automatic M14 that the US engineer class gets someone better not tell Tyrone about this because if he gets his hands on an automatic M14 it's game over like it, you thought it was bad enough with a semi-auto nah forget it it's game over but my next favorite weapon has to be the VZ or VZ depends on where you are in the world 58 and you also to get it with the new faction, the Pathet Lao. I don't know how to pronounce that. Now, you know, AK is good gun to the game, but the VZ58 is one of my favorite variants, and that's probably because I have a soft spot for Czechoslovakia, but speaking of AKs, you have a new variant called the AK-47, the literal AK-47, not like some variants where, you know, you get a gun that looks like an AK-47, and everyone just calls it an AK-47, and then weapon buffs are like, oh, no, no, that's a Type 56 with a collapsible stock and a bayonet or whatever, you know, how people get a little bit too specific, and you know, I don't blame them for it, but this is the literal AK-47, and you also get different variants of the XM-17 or CAF 15. You have one with a 20 round mag or a 30 round mag. You also get the Smith and Wesson. I just assume that's what S and W stands for bodyguard and it's it looks freaking sick as hell It's like a sexier revolver. You also get a Bowie knife the Mac 10 and a suppressed variant with it I think this game it's just it's so fucking sick because you lose I think this is the only weapon in the game where if you fold the stock you actually get an iron sight You also get a stockless Thompson, which looks pretty freaking cool. Not gonna lie. You get a couple of new LMGs, starting off with the Stoner 63A, which just looks fantastic, I'll tell you what. The Sword of RPD, which I'm pretty sure has better accuracy than the regular RPD. The German MG34, which is actually, which, this was actually supposed to be added into the vanilla game, I'm pretty sure, but it was never added and, you know, I'm glad that it eventually got added into the game. You have the different variants of the DP28, you get the DP27 and the DPM. Not sure what the difference is, to be honest. The Scorpion gets added, which, you know, it just looks really freaking cool. I always like to see Czechoslovakian guns getting added into the game. You also get a new sniper, which is the scoped M16. And the scope on this thing is really freaking cool, right? Like, you can zoom in differently. Like, you can adjust the rangefinder as well as the actual zoom itself. And you get this as the new US forces, the special forces. It's freaking sick. A literal crossbow has been added for the path at Lao. And the thing is, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty freaking sick. Because, you know, you can be stealthy. Because it makes no sense sound whatsoever but like with the bolt action weapons if you fire you got to make sure you land the shot because if you miss the enemy is going to have plenty of time to return fire but I'm pretty sure they're not going to actually realize that they're getting shot at if you get the drop on them because it's so quiet oh and by the way the NVA can now use tanks which means that the southern forces will need some anti-tank weapons like what are you going to do use a grenade launcher throw some c4 at the tank which actually might do some pretty serious damage because that thing I'm pretty sure is fucking more damage than the RPG but the 
Americans have the choice of the LAW or the recoilless rifle. The NVA have a choice between different RPG variants, not too sure what the difference is there, but you know, there's an option. The VC now also get the Car 98K, And they also get the Walthoff P38 pistol and the PPSH 43. And finally, the ARV and get an Uzi. This thing just looks so freaking sick, bro. We're now moving on to vehicles. And I'm sure that some of you have probably looked at these tanks on Saigon and wish that you could drive them. You know, it's such a shame that we couldn't do that in the base game because they are modeled well. But now we can because a lot of new vehicles have been added, such as the M113, which was actually in GOM 3, the Mutt, the Land Rover. Honestly, I always wonder what the difference between the Land Land Rover and Range Rover was. I, I don't know. I Someone explained the difference to me, but we'll now have the T-3485 and the T-59 tanks, and they are going to handle similar to the tanks in the Televisota Winter War mod from what I've been told. God rest that mod's soul, but it's a shame that no one plays on it anymore except for the people over at Finland. But also moving on, we also have new customization because we have new factions such as, like I mentioned, the Path at Lao, Special Forces, different VC variants, the Republic of Korea, and many more with the unique customization. And honestly, I'm just thankful that this mod fixes up the fucking resort thing, because you know how in resort you play as the Marines, but the helicopters say United States Army on it? It's always kind of bugged me, like, why didn't the helicopters say Marines on them? But now they do. We are also going to be getting a new updated gore mechanics, and I think they look really freaking gruesome. I always say that I want good gore mechanics. I want to be, you know, traumatized from it. And, uh, yeah, these definitely do the job. They are really freaking well done, and it's just like flailing on the ground with their limbs missing. It's like, ugh. It's really intense. But also, before I finish this video, there's a thing called Trello, where basically, you know, people can use it to update their audience on where they are with certain projects, and it's no different with GOM 4. We can see that there is going to be going to be southern weapons. We can see all the southern weapons have been added, and which are supposedly meant to be added. We have the Swedish K, the M16 with a grenade launcher, and we also have northern weapons such as the LPO 50, the RPG 2, RPG 7 with the scope, the Webley, no idea what that is, I'm just reading like right off the top of my head, the PM 63 Rack Stell, uh, Z Bed 26, and geez, we also have southern vehicles that need to be added, the M48 Patton, the M15 Ontis Tank, the PBR, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's this thing here. We also only have two out of the six northern vehicles that have been added, we have uh, boats for VC, maybe, that's a maybe, but we know that there will be a transport truck a bike and a Vespa broke. I, this takes me back to Battlefield Vietnam where, you know, you and a buddy would just ride around on the Vespa and like, I think the map was Huey City. Oh man, that takes me back. It would be fantastic to see that added. I'm gonna definitely, wait, so if the guy who's an engineer sits on the back of the Vespa and he has C4, can they just drive around throwing it and just blowing themselves up? That is definitely something that I would love to see. But we also have secret factions, like we got a Northern Militia, Urban VC, the Path of Lao, which has been added, but we also have secret factions and there's plenty of more that is supposedly meant to be added. It's not just stopping what we have today. But anyways, you know, I'm going to end today's video there. I hope you guys did enjoy it because if you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to go and check out this mod. You know, you can load it offline with bots. Unfortunately, there aren't too many servers that run it. Hopefully, it does pick up because, you know, this is like new stuff for Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. You want to try it out. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.